I had any sense, I'd have shot him. Commercial Bill Flame Thrower. Thrower. Boss Man in the Bam. W B O S S Boss Man Radio. Thursday morning, and welcome to Drive Time, brought to you by Jim Peach Motors and Pete Chevrolet. Good morning, Miss Gale. Good morning, Tara Tanner, Serena Terry, Holly Shirley, Adam Anasco, Chef Adam. Good morning to you, Angie Moy, Brandy Jackson, Tracy Miller, Jesse James. Good morning, Jesse. Tim Wiggins, Hot Rods in, Lance McKenzie. Good morning, buddy. Temple Kinley, representing for Butcher here this morning. Uh, Whitney's in. Good morning, Whitney. Marvin Henry as well. Ron Kennedy, Dana's in. Good morning, Dana. Tim Ward, JT. Good morning, JT. Kristen Kennedy, Allie Sawyer. Good morning to you, Allie. Ray Stewart, Miss Carol Glidden. Good morning, Miss Carol. Uh, Temple Kinley, Tip Wagner, Chris Hall back in. Good morning, Chris. Daniel Smith, Donna Davis, Josh James. You got a sister and a brother in here. I do. Good morning, Josh. Uh, Molly's in. Good morning, Molly. Donna Fuquay. Good morning, Fuquay. Mark Miller, Neil Jerkins, Pam Driscoll, Alisa Finley Hart. Good morning, Alisa Finley Hart. Chelsea Brown, Amanda Henry, and Denise Finley. And good morning, Kenwood. Good morning, DJ. Uh, running a little late this morning, but never fear. We had to do a little something, take a little different route to get here. But uh, we're, we're here. We're, we're here. That's all that matters. And uh, it, it, it it's nothing to do with Mediacom. So let me say that up front. I don't want to get people all worked up and think it was a Mediacom issue. It wasn't anything to do with that this morning. So. Anyway, uh, good morning from the wharf. Big night tonight. Yep, I think Miranda Lambert's in town. Uh, okay, down at uh, yeah. down in Orange Beach, or what is that? I guess that's Gulf Shores, isn't it? Yeah, the wharf. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, what's going on in the uh, Dirty Thirty this morning? Same old, same old. I believe here. Uh, this is probably not the most exciting news for everybody, but one that certainly caught my eye yesterday afternoon. And T Bone was the first one that posted it that I saw it. Urban Meyer's in big trouble at Ohio State. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, happy 21st birthday to uh, Becca Smith, Jessica Smith said. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Becca. Happy birthday. Let's see if we can um, – I, I need to keep that thing. There happy it is. Happy birthday! Yeah, I, I, you know, you hate to see anything like that, but I think there's enough people around here that hate Urban Meyer enough that uh, – and that's probably bad to say, but it's the truth. <laughs> He's not going to make it. I don't think so either. And he should, if, if, if the reports are accurate – Yeah. And they're all pretty consistently saying the same thing that he had an assistant coach that was involved in a domestic dispute or domestic violence and uh, chose to sweep it under the rug. There has to be zero tolerance for that. Yeah, and no, he if it's true, shame on him. Yeah, if it's true, he shouldn't make it. Yeah, and he's on paid leave as we speak. Yeah. So, uh, Rocky Times up in Columbus, Ohio, and for the Buckeyes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, I, I, he only makes about eight million a year. We, we live in a, uh, a, a day and age where that cannot be accepted uh no matter what you know and, and and to me it goes a little further and of course we're we're rabid down here we love our sports we certainly love our football we're gonna have a good time in our war eagle roll tide show coming up towards the end of the month but when you get to the point where you compromise your beliefs and your standards and your morals to the point that a football game and whoever wins it carries more weight than how we treat each other especially in this situation our spouse i mean that's 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 a little much yeah your moral compass i mean that's is, just, is, is not well listen this is the same guy that left the sec because he was having headaches yeah yeah <laughs> and chest pain yeah he was getting that tail chest pain. by the board from tuscaloosa yeah i mean he, he he took off running fast as he could from here yeah uh 
and I, and I'm not trying to make light of this situation. No, I don't no. mean it that way, but I'm like you, you pointed out, we are rabid about college football yeah. down here. I would say that Ohio state's pretty rabid about college football. I mean, that, sure. You know, they're, they're, they're fan base, but you can't, uh, you just, you know, you, you can't, you can't let that happen. You know, good morning, mother. Connie B. Good Kevin morning, James. Uh, Naomi Lindsay, Mark Madden, Retro. Good morning, Retro. Timmy Wiggins, he's going to be an urban legend. Yeah. <laughs> MC in. Good morning, MC. Lynn Clark. Uh, it's coming. He's not going to make it. I don't think he can. I mean, I, I listen. He's not going to make it. How many people have you seen in the last 10 years that was put on paid leave for anything that made it back? Can you name one? I can't name one. No. I can't either. No. So when I, I saw that last night, I, I saw where Tony had put that there. And so I, I kind of went to ESPN and, and started reading a little bit about it. And, uh, you know, yeah, I, I just, I don't see, uh, I, I don't see how I can make it back from that at all. So, uh, I just don't understand. I'm certainly not, uh, I'm not passing judgment to the point of saying, you know, we are above this person or below this person or whatnot. I just can't imagine getting to the point and becoming so blinded by what is right and wrong that you would compromise something like that to win a football game. I, I just, I can't, and I'm a, I consider myself a very competitive person, but to, to compromise who you are and, and, you know, I'm not saying that urban Myers is scum of the earth. I'm not saying that he made a poor decision, a very poor decision. It looks like here, right? Some more chips have to fall and we'll see how it shakes out. But I just can't believe that the outcome of a football game would take precedent over something as serious as this. It just well, blows my mind. I, I tell you, you know, and, and apparently this couple were close friends of the Myers. Yeah. From what, what you yeah. read. I mean, you know, I don't, if you believe everything you read. Okay. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I don't I, believe unless it's said here. Well, that me either. Fake news. Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, Fake news. You want to fly me up to Columbus and let me try to get my arms? I, I tell you, I, I think that I think that would be. Uh, I wonder if you could get an interview with that uh, with, with with the wife. I'll gas the fusion up right now and head that way. Yeah, well, I tell you, you don't typically like to get further north than I Auburn, don't. So I, I would I, do it. I, I mean, would do it for the dirty thirty to bring the truth out. Yeah. Well, I, I think you could. I, if anybody could get the truth, I think you could. <laughs> Urban. Urban. What happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah. Well, DJ, let me tell you how it went down. I knew about an incident in 09. Didn't know anything about the incident in 15. Now, I think my wife might have, but yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we'll, we, we, we believe all that, too. Yeah. I only believe it's on the internet as well, Brandy. If, if I didn't read it on the internet, I don't believe it. I mean, that, that's, uh, that just goes without saying. You know, one of the things that uh, Tony and I are going to do on that first show is we're going to release our preseason top 10 teams, and I don't mind telling you or those that are watching us this morning i had ohio state in my preseason top 10 i will have to rethink it because this is a uh a a major game, distraction that's a game changer game changer yeah i mean that, that changes uh that changes a lot yeah. so you know I, it, it's uh yeah there you go connie b you can't handle the truth <laughs> <laughs> go up there and pull a uh captain or i mean a uh colonel uh, nathan jessup on it. there it is you know but i'm, I'm gonna tell you it's a sad, that's a sad, sad situation. Yeah. Uh, but one that needs to be dealt with, and it looks like they're dealing with, of course, Ohio State's got a litany of problems up there right yeah, now. Yeah. I mean, it's not just, you know, that's this is just one more compound in the problem. They got, they got that whole wrestling thing yep. going on, you know, that, that or I'd say, is it, isn't it wrestling? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, or the women's the, something to do with 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 the uh, women's part. It, it, they, they got all kind of problems. So, you know, I hate it, hate it for them. But again, when you let a football game just completely derail your way of thinking, you know, I don't. I mean, and don't get me wrong, we're Auburn and Alabama fans and yeah. the Dirty Thirty saying that, and here we are. We go up there, and, and I say we some go up there, and when the gates open, it uh, Brian Denny that like a bunch of crazed. Uh, I don't know, deer, or in T Bone's case, up dikes. Yeah, I mean they take off running, and you know, I mean, so I'm not saying that that's a bad thing to be rabid about your your team or what have you, but I mean, come on, man, it's a game. Yeah, it's just a game, you know. Eight million a year make me do everything right. 
<laughs> sir, yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to tell you, you know. Uh, but, you know, the, the thing that we deal with every day, no matter what, and this is something I think people need to realize and, and recognize is with the what we're doing right now on social media, on, you know, with, with 24-hour access to anything and everything, I mean, it's just not going to, uh, it, it, you know, you know, it, you, you, you don't get away with much no. anymore. Eyes are on you. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, ha, ha, that's, I hate it, but it's just one of those deals. So, you know, uh, good morning, Misty Jerkins, uh, Kimberly Padgett, uh, Jake would, Hodge. Good morning, Jake. You would think that it's going to come to a head fairly quickly. I mean, they kick off here in about three weeks. They've got to have some direction as a program. Yeah. And uh, I look for Urban probably not to make it through the weekend. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if he does. So, you know, if you read any of that stuff about it, you know, I mean, and again, you know, you, you, it's one of those deals, you, who do you believe, you know, I mean, yeah. but, but you know how that goes too. There's a lot of be some information come out and, and trust me, if they put him on paid leave, they know more than what yeah. they're, you know, than what's out there. So, uh, you know, Urban's good morning gone. from across the uh, big pond there. Paul, what's going on over there? Uh, yeah, well, I agree with that, Jesse. Uh, sweater vest trestle wasn't exactly a shining example of... Uh, and they acted swiftly with him. Yeah, they, they did. They got a precedent up there of dealing with it. Yeah, they do. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> look at Raj. Maybe all going to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this ain't Warrior Roll Tide. Not your, your little early Raj. Don't worry, we're three weeks away, pal. <laughs> three weeks away. We're uh, we're still trying to hold down the uh, the dirty thirty in here. Okay? We got our guy. Yeah, uh, T Bone is uh, like it or not, we got our guy. We're locked into him for seven years. Yeah, I, I, don't remind me of that. It's only uh, fifty six million. Yeah, please don't remind me of that either. Not a big deal. I I, I just don't I, I don't get it. I just don't get that. Explain to me how you can have two decent seasons. One, you had Superman playing for you. Okay. I mean, seriously, let's be honest. He was the assistant coach on that team. Right. He wasn't the head coach. And then you had another one when you first got there, uh, but you blew it in the second half against a Florida state team that you had beat and beat bad. In my opinion, uh, I, but, but he did make the greatest play call of all time, the kick six. Well, he did. He called it. He, he called it. I agree he with made that. He did it, it in the call the timeout. He did. And whining and crying on national TV to get the one second put back on. He baited him. He absolutely baited him. You, dared re- him. you realize we're about to get annihilated. He dared him to do it. <laughs> and the little short guy fell for it. We're about to get killed. <laughs> he said, hey, hey, kick six. Kick six on two, on two. Tara, have a great Thursday. You too. <laughs> Uh, we're, you're, we're about get to get killed. Ma- Good morning, Larry Murphy. Get that man a new contract. There's Elizabeth Nelson in. Number hey, three. three. Love you, three. Phew. You see, she didn't have no comment yesterday when I said that about that conversation she and I had. Yeah. You know, I was hoping she'd make a little comment. <laughs> Look at Jake. I'm six one, Jake. How about that. You're always standing on a, <laughs> a bar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm six one. And don't make us play no video because we got video <laughs> evidence of that, Jake. <laughs> and no butcher didn't take it. I, I saw Butch in there. I was glad to see Butch. In I here texted this Butch a couple of times last night. We were back and forth, and he is uh is slow, but he's getting better. He's certainly uh I saw, I saw, real banged up. I saw a post he put on where he's back at the uh, looked like he was getting some more X-rays or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. How did that go? Did he say? It still hadn't uh, everything. He's still a lot of swelling in some areas that okay. are not for sure on the. I think maybe it was the ankle. He told me, but uh, he is gonna have a complete recovery. But this is gonna take him a little while. But we are certainly thankful that he is doing as well as he did because it's uh that was. I mean, you know, we talked about it before. That was just he, it was horrific, terrible. Yeah. Good morning, Chevy Ann. Uh, good morning, Jane Ward. Uh, speaking of speaking of uh, Jake Hodge in a bar. <laughs> good morning, right, Chevy Ann. I'm gonna shut up. Uh, I don't say anything else about that. But yeah, I mean that's a it, it, you know, uh, I I just can't believe it. Is it got it completely out of control? What these coaches get paid. 
Uh, Initially, you would say yes, but if you look at the income and the revenue that comes in, I think I saw something the other day where since Saban has been at Alabama, their enrollment has increased like 31%. And all those, you know, tuition comes with that and student fees and whatnot. So the money they generate is probably the best money they've ever spent. Well, here's my deal. If that's the case, why don't they let students go to that school for free? Because if they're bringing in that much money, profit, and it's a state institution, which is supposed to be nonprofit, yeah, why don't they give that money to the state and let the state pay for these kids to go to school? Why don't they well, do the, that? Well, the kids are paying the paying the salaries. That's what what I'm telling you is is that they claim outside of tuition, outside of all that, yeah, that before football season this uh, uh, last year that Alabama's athletic department had made $77 million. Now, if that's the case, why don't they give all that's before football season? Yeah. Why don't they give all that money to the state and let the state, let these kids go to school for free. I didn't, we can pay a coach 10 million a year, but we can't let kids go to school up there who may not have a chance to go otherwise. And I'm not just talking about Alabama. I'm talking about all the, even, yeah. if, if, if you're in the shape where you can pay millions of dollars a year for a coach, you ought to have students that ought to be able to go to school there for, it shouldn't well, cost them a dime. Well, you may disagree well, with well, that. I don't, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with it. I'm just saying you're coming at it from the pretense that, intercollegiate athletics is not a business. It's not an education. It's not an extracurricular activity. It's a business. I mean, it's a money-making business. I understand, business. but it's at a state-run, you know, state-owned no, no, institution. I, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying nobody's going to shut down a $100 million a year business. Is that profitable? Nobody. No, and I don't blame yeah. them. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying yeah. is might ramp it up. I oh, mean, yeah. I, I, yeah. you know, I'm saying in that, that they ought to allow, with it making that much money, they ought, they, they ought to give that yeah. money and put it where these people that want to go to college can go to college and it not cost them anything. I don't disagree with you, but I mean, I think you and I both know that's never going to happen. Oh, I know that. that, but, but, but if anything, it's going to just keep going up but, until they find that breaking point. But the problem is, the is, it, is that nobody's ever, I guess there's not been enough high powered whoever's out there to get to this point to say, look here, how can all y'all be nonprofits, but yet y'all showing all this profit? Yeah. Where's all that money going? Yeah. You know, if you're showing that kind of profit, where's the money going? I thought you had to do that with a nonprofit. Do you not? I don't know. But I, I agree with you. It's sketchy at best. Yeah. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Well, I'm, the bigger travesty And I'm me. not talking about just Alabama. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about colleges throughout this yeah. whole nation. If you can afford to pay millions of dollars for a coach to come coach, and that's just the head coach. What's the offensive yeah. coordinator making? A million. Defensive coordinator. A million. Okay. So... If you can afford to pay out that kind of money, our kids ought to be able to go to college for free if they want to. Now, I'm not saying go up there and party and all that. I'm saying you got to make the grades and all that kind of deal. But that's just my opinion. And what you see, though, but what you see is even with tuition rates increasing. Sure. Enrollment still increasing. Sure. I mean, I I mean, you know, until the bubble bust, it ain't going to stop. Yeah. And I'm not saying they don't offer great scholarships. Connie B, I'm not saying that. I, I'm not saying that, that nobody doesn't. Uh, nobody doesn't all, I offer great scholarship opportunities. It's not that's not my point. My point is is that like Georgia, if you have a C average, maintain mm-hmm. you your college is paid for in state. In state, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. You know, if if Georgia can do that, why can't Alabama do that? Well, well number could. one, Georgia has a lottery. Yeah, I, yeah. I understand mm-hmm. that too, and that's a whole different topic, right? But, you know, I mean, hey, don't get college athletic, college football. Yeah. Let's, let's get back to that. Yeah. Baseball, basketball, all that. But college football is the booming business. Well, I think, you know, the, the SEC, which is what we follow the most down here, obviously, they have a revenue sharing system in place where Alabama gets exactly the same amount as Vanderbilt sure. and everybody in between. Right. And I think this past year, I think each one of those institutions put, 56, 58 million dollars 
in their financial coffers. A piece. A piece. Golly. I mean, that, that, okay. There's 14 teams. Not, I'm not, not a great math uh, guy, but I mean, that, that's, that's of course, that's, uh, you know, your TV contracts, your bowl well, revenue, sure. everything. But, but, I, yeah, but, but, it, I, but I'm saying if all that money's pouring in yeah. and there's nobody benefiting from it at all, yeah. there's a, I mean, there, except for, and I'm not taking nothing away from that college. I, listen, these athletes that are, that are getting all this money being made off of, you know what they say? Well, we're, we're paying for their college. Okay, what about all the rest of the kids yeah. that are paying for you mm-hmm. to help pay for their college? Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you got one in college. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, let's be honest. It, it, you know, college is not getting any cheaper. I what does think, it cost to go for four years now at, yeah. at Alabama or Auburn? It's a hundred grand. Plus. This, 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 it's a hundred grand ballpark. Sure. You, could, you could probably do it for a little less if you, if you did certain things, and it's probably a little more if you did other things. Right. But you can figure a hundred grand. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that, that's a... Uh, I'm telling you right now, I don't care who you are. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. You know, and that's, that's a, a lot that, of money. That is a lot of money to have to come up with. Yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, I, it, it, again, I am not at all trying to ramp up. Let's beat up on, you know, the, the, the schools. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it, that we ought to at least, if you're, if you're looking at that kind of revenue stream coming through these schools. Yeah. You know, if you're talking about dividing up fifty six million dollars, not dividing it up. I mean, I mean, I'm talking about uh, uh, giving fourteen institutions yeah. fifty six million dollars yeah. on top of what they already yeah. made. Yeah. You're gonna sit there and tell me that 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 they couldn't have say, okay, every one of you that has a C average or better can come to this institution, and your books and tuitions paid for. <clears throat> and if you want to live in the dorms, well, I mean, it's hard to put 20,000 people in the dorm. Right? What's Alabama's enrollment now? 22,000? I know. I think they're close to 30,000. Oh, they, okay. Yeah. Well, at, at the main campus. Yeah, at the main campus. Okay. The, the one in Tuscaloosa, <clears throat> right, in Birmingham. Right. So, you know, that's a lot of people trying to put. So I, I, I realize that's a big, big thing to try to do, but at least you could, you know, say, hey, come on. And, and again, I'm, I'm not trying to beat that dead horse, but I just think that's crazy, man. I mean, yeah. You know, when you look at all these, uh, you know, uh, scholarships, like Lisa Tindall right there, some received the presidential scholarship at Alabama and still would have cost 30000 a year. Wow. That's what, I mean, that, that's... Wow. Housing and meal tickets are pricey. Whew. Yes, sir. That's crazy. But anyway... I can't wait. Getting back to where we was at, I can't wait for the first War Eagle Roll Tide just because maybe this will come up and y'all can start dogging on whatever uh, about that. Um, you know, obviously, just like other people were in here saying a while ago, you know, the only thing we have to hold on to is a kick six. Well, I think we got to start. The, I think the guy stepped out of bounds. I think Alabama got robbed. <laughs> I think it was clear that Chris Davis stepped out of bounds. You want to make sure we, yeah, we, we and we're going to replay, replay it. it. And I, I think I can show you where he did. Didn't I we, think Bama got robbed. Did, didn't we do that one night when he was on the show? Didn't we have that play in behind him the whole time? I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I, I may be wrong, but but I think we remember that. Good morning, Deacon. Good morning, Deacon. I certainly thought <clears throat> it was tacky on Auburn's part. To run the length of the field, 109 yards yeah, has never been done he, in the history of the game. I thought it was tacky. He should have stopped at the at the goal line. It's just tacky. I wasn't for it. Well, I tell you, uh, as someone who believes in being classy, <clears throat> I if you think that was tacky, then it was tacky. Twenty cents in it. I mean, we are talking about somebody just took a swig out of a milk jug. That was too good of a game for me like that. <laughs> Kids play their hearts out. I mean, you know, so uh, I, I, we're about to get killed. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I mean, it's Thursday. Yeah. Who cares? It's throwback Thursday. Yeah. How long goes the kick season? What, what was that, 2013? No, it was last year. Oh. <laughs> okay. well, that's good. I, I, I'll go with that. <clears throat> good morning, Will. Kill him. It was last uh, year. I'll go with that. Yeah. Last, uh, what, November? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, uh, good morning, Jerry Wilson. Uh, so, I don't, Temple, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if it's something other than water. Uh, it's mineral water. Yeah. Look at Ashley. It was just tacky for Auburn to win. It was. Yeah. 
There's Nelly Rock. Hey, Rock. Good morning, Rock. I texted Rock this morning at 3.30. Did you? I did. Did, did he text back? At about 4.45. I'm going to tell you, man, how do y'all get up that early? <clears throat> I mean, like, for real, how do y'all do, do Wait that, a minute, man? Okay. That's Logan. Oh, yeah. How, how do y'all how do y'all get up that early? I don't know. The, the stars of my eyes opening. They just opened. I, I mean, I, I, just, I just don't, I just don't get it. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I did it. I've done it now. I knew I was going to be in trouble when football season got here. See what Miss Carol just said? I, I, let me, I did I just not. lost a multi-layer chocolate cake. <laughs> well, Dang go. it. There you go. Wow. Uh, let me see Ann jumped up real quick. She'll take it. <laughs> I said it was tacky, Miss Carol. I'm on your side. Yeah. Look at Jesse James. Good Lord. Spike with all the bacteria from the filth. It, a lot of antibodies in it. That's why yeah. I get sick. It's gluten free. Yeah. Unicorn juice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I was going to say, Heath, I could stay up late. I just can't get up early. Now, if I stay up to 445, I'm good. Man, I stayed up to 815 last night. It's worn out. There you go. Yeah, that's right, Hot Rod. He said it right, right there. You get up at 2.30, 2.45, 3 o'clock. Yeah. You know, trash cans coming down the, you know, yeah, you, you figure the whole oh, good Lord. <laughs> Somebody texted him. Here he is. <clears throat> Somebody must have hit him up and said, they talking about you. My God, he laid into me yesterday, didn't he? He sure did. It was just one of those. I mean, it was. It was he was uh, just coming, 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 coming. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, Martha. <laughs> it was, it was, it was rough. Panther water. <laughs> <laughs> I know she didn't. Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, I bet you won it is too, Tracy. <laughs> Case quarters. Case quarters. Lord have mercy. Bringing it back. I laughed at that last night. I can't lie to you. I actually watched that last night again, and I laughed as hard as I did uh, in here yesterday. That was uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, a cookie cake tomorrow from who? Are we live? Look at Burnham. Are y'all live? No, no, we're not. It, it, we're not live. We're not. Hey, Martha Clay, LaForce, LaForce, LaForce. Sorry, I said that wrong, LaForce. Case. Uh, good morning, Woodrow Doll. Uh, yeah, Case Quarter. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty good right there, man. Uh, you know, and then you, it, it did take me just a minute to, to grab hold of it. That was the funniest thing to me. But when I did, uh, yeah. but when I got it, I got it. It I finally also, hit me uh, good. I also got tickled when you talked about the uh, Viking boat <laughs> pulling up in the, <laughs> in the <hall. laughs> Put down, putting that the anchor down. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you running up in there, slamming that big axe down. What do you call it? Whatever. I guess what you call it. I, I tell you what, that picture that Tracy put in drive time of that time all stake, that thing looked good, didn't it? I'm going to have one. I just want to know, Tracy, did you pick that thing up by the bone and just start like eating it? I mean, or I'm sure Tracy's being classy, unlike us. I'm sure she ate it like she would, but I'm guessing that, uh, if if that were you and I, why don't we do this? Why don't we find out when they're doing that again at, down there? Yeah. And let's go down there and film us sitting at the table eating it like a bunch of Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get the reactions of everybody around us. Because you know how close you sit in that place. Oh, yeah. I would love to just get reactions. Just sitting there, just gnaw, just tearing the meat off that thing. We'll throw the uh, case quarters out there. Throw the hostess of 20 <laughs> and say, whoever the most prestigious people are in here, the most important people in here, put us right beside them. <laughs> arr, arr. Bring us two metal chalices with ale. With, with ale. With your finest ale. With your finest ale. <laughs> we want them ice cold. I'll eat the fat, the gristle, all of it. <laughs> While you're at it, bring us a box of toothpicks because we're going to need them once, you, once we get through with this thing. And we'll pillage on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. And if you see a big boat out in the back, don't think anything about it. <laughs> we'll do that. By the way, uh, put us down as a third person coming named Leaf. He'll be here sometime shortly. <laughs> Leaf. Table of three. Leaf. 
Table of three. Oh, man. Yeah. Leave Von Eric. Yeah. And listen, do y'all have some $8 huggers to go with it? Yeah. You know, so, uh, Cotty B says she can find some helmets. I, I'm not scared I'd to wear do it. it. I'd do it. I'd, I'd do I it. I promise you I'll do it. I ain't scared to do it. If we'll get some cameras and set them up in there, or what matter of fact, I got some little tiny ones. We'll just put them on where nobody can see them <laughs> and we'll just get people's reaction. Look at them two fools from drive time. I'll do it. You know, but I don't think maybe they will recognize us. What if we put on like big, hairy, like fake, hairy, ZZ yeah. top beards? Yeah, we can and do put it. helmets on and walk in there with two axes. You think they would see us? Probably call the law. I'll call the chief police down there, tell them what we're going to yeah, do. That, that way, Chuck, where he'd know what was going on. Not looking for trouble. Yeah, that way he'd be like, "Nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fool with him." I just want a medieval meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want the medieval ti- uh, 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 tomahawk. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell you what, that would. Uh, How would you like that cooked? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would, uh, you're right. That, that would be, uh, the, the, big, the biggest problem would be wanting to find one big enough to fit my big head. Well, what kind of problem do you think I'm going to well, have with this dome I'm toting around? We'll probably have two, uh, listen, we need two e- double extra large, uh, helmets, Connie B. But so if medium you can vest. find them. Yeah. Medi- medium vest. Yes. But, but make sure that everything else is, uh, medium. It's medium. But however you want to say that, uh, we get corrected on that a lot. Did Vikings have moisture wicking clothing? I don't. I don't think. I don't think so. I think it was a lot of uh, pelts and 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 uh, animal, uh, some sort of animal, you know, skins and and tanned and. Well, I'll go heavy on the talc. Sensitive skin, sensitive skin. Man. <sighs> Be rough right there, wasn't it? God. Mm. Uh, <sighs> go in there and sit down. Is they see on? I don't think so. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if they'll, let's get some of those outfits and let's go stick them outside in the heat for about two weeks before we go down there. And then, <laughs> then uh, cause I want to go in there with like a, Maybe we'll go up and get us a Tink 69 from up there oh, at yeah. like, like Walmart and just kind of put it around on the things before we walk in there. How many people do you think would get up and leave? Woo. They smell like mm. a bunch of Vikings then come up in here. Go from there and take the casino over? Yeah. We can do that, too. We ought to walk oh. through the door and get met by security. Lord, Lord, Lord. If you walked in the casino with two axes, I'm sure we're going to get met at the door with, by, casino, uh, by, by security. Face planted. Yeah. What are y'all doing here? Well, we just had a good, good medieval meal, <laughs> <laughs> and we, we're uh, we're here to do a little. Uh, oh God! Walking around, man. <laughs> By the way, your valet won't park our boat out front. <laughs> My goodness. So, <sighs> yeah, that would uh, that'd be crazy. I, I, I think it'd be funny. Where to do that? I'll do it. I tell you though, man. You know, uh, we'd have to we'd have to call the uh, what's his name down there? Let him in on it that we were doing it. Maybe we ought to do a trial run, or maybe we ought to do it at Camp Thirty One or David's. We have some friendlies in the well, area. Well, yeah, if they if they if they get us some one of them tomahawks, well, we can grab yeah, hold of and, and like eat with a, do it. with with the, with the bone. Yeah, I mean that's they great. I know? feel better with our people. You you, you, you would feel good about that in Atmore, Alabama. I've got a lot of knots put on my head down in Atmore. Yeah, well, most of them on the football field, but. uh yeah, I, I, I think we'd be better off or better served to do it here. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm good with that. Uh, yeah. Walk in. Arr! <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> you got a bathroom? <laughs> oh, man, that would, uh, oof. That'd be, that'd be rough. I'll tell you what, man. The, n- not this weekend, but next when the pygmies play at tail fans, let's show up wearing blocking outfits. 
<laughs> Karen be like, let me invite these two fools up here on yeah. stage to introduce to y'all. This is uh, Leaf Von Eric. <laughs> this is uh, this is Flip Von Eric. Uh, they're from the uh, Von yeah. Eric clan of uh, the medieval times, but from uh, Orlando for Kissimmee, Florida. Oh, you ever been to that? I have not. That is uh, something to see. These people on horses joust while you eating dinner with no utensils is it fake the jousting well the jousts are like explode they're like wood but it's like they but they got armor on us but they yeah. knock they get knocked off yeah and fall out in the that's a bunch of like i guess sawdust and stuff yeah. so i mean you know i get I, I guess when they hit the i i, I guess it's kind of like wrestling you know, I mean, wrestling is like choreographed, but you know, when you're still coming from you yeah, know, ten feet yeah. up off the top of that thing, you hitting that wrestling mat, and you're still hitting it. I mean, it's, I, I, but yeah. yeah, you know, they already know who's going to win. You got like different colors, and that's where you sit. But you eat with your hands. Everything you eat, you eat like a Viking. I like it. Yeah, <clears throat> I do it every it's, Saturday. It's set up that way. Well, I, I, okay. I thought Vikings were pirates, like the earliest form of them. They're all invaders. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, look at there. Have a guy in the group they call the Viking. We could join. I tell him. you, man, it's just crazy how all this kind of comes yeah. together. We could join him. Uh, is there a Viking song? Maybe that we I I, I can't think of really one that, that kind of favorite football teams the Minnesota Vikings. Well, okay, uh, maybe they got a song. I'm not sure. Uh, he <laughs> wore that Chewbacca with a hoodie. <laughs> What if you put that face on in that Viking outfit and come in there with that axe and had that thing? And I'd probably get shot. Oh, yeah. With a crossbow. I think it was a, a Wookiee or, 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 or a doggone uh, uh, Sasquatch. Yeah. And showed up. We've been looking for one of those, you know, or talking about going to hunt yeah. one of those. Whatever happened to that? It just. I thought T-Bone was going to come down and, and, and take us on a, uh, uh, a hunt. Look at Hot Rod, Molly Hatchet. hatchet. Th- th- there you go. It was a broke leg studio production. Well, that's why so it what never do you happened. think happened? Yeah, that's why it never happened. You just answered that question in fine form right there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we call it the lumberjack. That's a guy. There you yeah. go. So, I think we could. Uh, I think we could do that. So, uh, that'd be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm like you. Probably need to do that locally first. Well, we walked up in the fish I'd bowl. I'd like to come in there like with uh, like Conan. When he had the big long saber and just coming, you better get a fake one. Then. We can get Jay, uh, Jesse James to be Grace Jones. <clears throat> there you go. She had a stick. Conan yeah. the Barbarian. Yeah, yeah. Grace was rough in that movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. She was rough. Uh, you, you that, that I tell you what, that's one of my. I like that Conan the Destroyer. I like yeah. that. That's one of my favorite yeah. movies from back in those days. Yeah. Conan had to do some. Uh, Wow, crazy stuff. I'd love to see you swinging that saber. He conquered a lot of lands. Yeah, he did. I'd love to see you swinging that saber around. <laughs> Especially if you walked in the front door somewhere doing it. <laughs> Where's Larry Murphy? Yeah. <laughs> First off, if they're going to call DW and say, get the daggum paddy wagon down here. We got a mental patient that's walked in the door or something. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, well, that's correct. We probably uh probably down with the sweating. Sasquatch hunt with pork and bean. Oh, pork and bean, slow cooking with Sasquatch pork and bean. Yeah, we hadn't seen anything out of that. Uh, well, he was in here earlier, I guess. So part of pork and bean was yeah. Uh, the other part has yet to show up in here. Football season. He's coming. Yep. Okay. Brooklyn brawl. Yep. On tap. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I'm all down for that. I think that's a, that sounds like a uh, a real good time. I'm up for that tomahawk steak. That sounds like a real good We're doing time. that. But like I said, we definitely need to bring a uh, camera crew or people or put cameras on us and do it because I think people would. Uh, Tony Tony's pork, Brandy. Okay, so he was asking who was pork and who was bean. Josh is bean. Tony's pork. Boz is bean. Yep. Okay. Slow developing. Yeah, there you go. Something, you know, but I, I think that, uh, I wonder if they, talking about code 5150, I wonder, that might be a good hat. It was my test scores. 
Oh, it was. 51 and 50. 50. Midterm final. Well, remember what they said, man. Have you seen like the, the, the newest edition of Last Chance Universal? I have not. Stokes was telling me about it. He's watched all of them. Yeah. Or has watched as many as been out. I don't know if they've released the whole season yet oh, or not. Oh, yeah, it's out. Yeah, and he's you, watched you need to, you need to You need to check that out. Um, that, that that coach, this year they went to a, a, a college in Kansas. Yeah, that's what he's telling me. They, they didn't go back to uh, East Mississippi. And the guy in East Mississippi won the national championship again. Say it again, I'm The sorry. guy in East Mississippi yeah. won the national championship again. A new coach, though, right? Same, Same head guy. coach. Yeah. But he had to replace his offensive coordinator, his defensive coordinator. Okay. Quarterback, all like had to replace all those guys. They they all went off, and I got I guess got jobs elsewhere. But I'm not sure why. Uh, they for some reason they went out to Kansas and did it instead of you know. Give me an opening at Ohio State. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that will uh, that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I'm not sure how it's going to play out, but it, it's going to be interesting to see. You know, it, it, and again, good morning, Miss Lizenby. I'm still. Going back to the, uh, the tomahawk steak thing, uh, I, 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 I just, I bet you Adam, I bet Adam could get us a couple in there if we uh, told him us what we wanted. I bet he could handle that. Adam can throw, do anything. Throw him on the grill. Adam can do anything. Yeah, he can roll sushi as well. Yeah. You like? I'm, I'm all in on some of that. All in. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, they need to do sushi at Camp Thirty One. It'd be awesome. That'd be, I'm telling you, it'd probably be a crowd show up for that. I know a, a lot of people around here like sushi. Good morning, Heather Godwin. So, uh, look at there. Look well, at there. Well, well, <laughs> he was in on show one, and he's made it back for one hundred seven. Yep. I, I, Hello, Charles. Good morning, there, Chuck. I hadn't seen Chuck in here live in a while. 106 shows. Yeah, it's been a while. Long time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fat man and what is that, little boy? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I'm 6'1", guys. I, mean, I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand. That's what my driver's license says. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, anyway, I guess we're going to have to... Uh, I guess I'm looking here, and it seems like his Chuck says he's back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Chuck. Glad to have you. Yeah, glad you glad you're back. I think he took the summer off. Maybe was it was it was he here during all that dash no, cash? No, 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 no. He disappeared early. He did. Yeah, he went on a hiatus on us. He'd had enough. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't blame him. It's hard to watch this for us. <laughs> He's a big view guy. He'd gone back and he'd... Oh, yeah. Him and Joy Behar? Yeah. <laughs> He's a view guy. He'd go check Joy and Whoopi yeah, in. Yeah. I don't know who the other two are. They 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 change out so much. I I don't know who they are anymore. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess we're going to have to get out of here. It's about that time. Uh, And I'm sitting here saying that, and I guess I need to hit some... What do I need to hit? What do you think sounds good? Uh... Let's see here. Played that one yesterday, so let's do this one. This is pretty good. All right, DJ. We got to right. go. Been a great uh, morning with you guys. Appreciate all of you joining us here on this Thursday morning. Hope you have a great day. Hope to be back with us again tomorrow to close out the week. It's always a lot of fun for us to be here. I want to thank Jim Peach Motors and Pete Chevrolet for making it possible. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Tuning in to the Dirty 30s number one broadcast, Drive Time with DJ and KJ. Tune in next time when you'll hear DJ say, Good morning and welcome to this edition of The Feel Good.